Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start off the uh, first little tutorial thing with a, um, uh, a look at how to cut, slice, and whatnot in Photoshop, move it over into Dreamweaver, and create a proper uh, HTML, CSS mockup. So here we go. Um, Photoshop. This is our overall comp. Uh, as you've seen from like the last tutorials, we've got the different sections here. This is what the uh, overall site's going to look like when we're done. But, uh, let's get rid of everything we don't need for this part right here. Um, okay, looking at it. You, I want to show my slices. I've already set up some slices, as you can see. show you the basics here. The first slice is the header slice, kind of labeled with our header GX1. You just kind of slice what's in it. Uh, next one is going to be my main body. Next one is this repeatable region. This is rather important. This is going to be what's repeating down the page. blank area and then our footer. So the only thing we have to do at this point is file, export device, save for devices, click on the different things, make sure everything's right, the quality settings and whatnot, press save, put it in our root directory, save it. So now that's done, that's the core, the background if you will. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move on over into Dreamweaver. Press refresh. Now you can see the images that it generated. This comp, the backgrounds only have four images that we're going to work with. We'll create a file. Call it template. It's going to create, cut, and check regular HTML, as you can see. Just the basics here. Nothing in it. Nice white blank canvas. So, first thing we're going to do is create my first div. New style. Choose name for it. Actually, we probably need to go ahead and create the body tag first and a new style sheet. I'll create a CSS folder and I'm going to call it Core Style. Alright, so it's going to ask me a bunch of questions. Okay, background. I want to use the images our body back, that was that repeatable one that we talked about. Okay, I want it to repeat on the Y. I want it to be centered. I want it to start from the top. Now the top's not necessarily necessary in this case, but I do it anyway. Um, press apply, see what we got. Now if you notice, we have some white space on the side, so what we need to do is set the background color. I pop back into Photoshop use my eyedropper tool to figure out what exactly that color is. Copy it from here, move back over into Dreamweaver. Put that color code in and apply. So now, great. It's all set up. And I'm going to say a new rule again. I'm going to create my wrapper right away. Wrapper object is basically what goes to center set your design. It's everything in the design, all the divs are going to be contained within the wrapper. But, got to set it to a compound, or I always do. Wrapper, make sure it's in the core. Okay, so in my box, this particular design is 1000 pixels wide. And I'm going to set a float on a wrapper. I do set my padding at zero and my margin zero. And this is where you get it to, to center up is by setting the right and left padding to be auto. Apply, okay, okay. So now you can see that, wow, it's right in the center. Now, the problem is, why does it have space around it? It's because my body also has to be set. 
So I open a new body. I set my padding at zero and my output margin at zero. Okay, so now you can see that it's uh, up on top. Everything's good. The whole site's going to be contained within this wrapper. So the first thing that I want to do is get rid of the text. So I'm going to create another div, new rule. It's technically an ID, so I'm going to call it the header. Okay. Box. I always look at my background to make sure that I have the right uh, graphic size that it's going to always be. So it's 1000 by 410 in this particular one. I'm not going to use the graphic yet, but uh, I'll show you why in a second. So it's going to be 1000. Now at this point, we're going to start floating left because uh, there's going to be multiple uh, multiple divs stacking on top of each other. So you've got to float it. Uh, padding 0, margin 0. Anything else that we need to do this? Probably not. Oh, 410. 410. Because we always know that the header is always going to be at the same 410. Apply. Okay, okay, boom, we've got an area here. Now, why didn't I put that image in there? On um, this particular design, the header is going to change out per uh, page, and I don't want to have to duplicate this header tag per page and change everything. So I'm going to create a class that defines what goes in it. So I'm going to create a class, I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be header graphic one. And then I just set the background, browse, set that because we're going to have different images later. That's what we'll go graphic one, graphic two, graphic three, apply. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show up obviously yet, so you got to click on that div. So your div ID is header. I'm going to change the class then. Hit graphic one, boom, it's in there. Good deal. So I always like to save. So let's look at the code real quick. What we have is header graphic one, keeps the HTML nice and clean. There's a lot of stuff that we'll go back in later and define later, but right now it's just about, let's get that in there. All right, so after that div, we're going to create our next div, new rule. It's going to be a ID. It's going to be my center, the center content. Okay, I know my box is going to be a thousand. I'm going to float it left. I'm not going to have any padding and margin at this point. I can always go back and change that later. I'm going to set my background as this wood texture. And the, the height is going to be a variable height. Um, and I'll show you how that works here in a minute. So I don't set the height at all. Say so apply. Okay. Okay. Oh, what just happened? Well, if we look. I forgot to set in. No, I didn't forget to set in. So what's going on? Ah, I put the div in. That's a little weird. What did I do? Okay, so I'm going to delete this section here. No. I put the div in on the outside of the wrapper. So. Pretend that I didn't do that. Put the div back in inside the wrapper. And supply source formatting. Everything looks good. Let's go back and see what we have here. All right. So now our graphic is. Well, it's not showing the whole thing. Well, this is going to shrink and grow with the content. And the more content I put into this, the larger it gets. See what I'm saying? Alright, so I'm going to take out some content. And after this graphic, I want to this over. I want to put in another div tag, new rule, ID. I'm just going to do my footer. Box width 1000. Load it left. And look at my background. It's going to be footer back. That's 55 high. So I'm going to go back to my box and set this to 55. All right. 
<laughs> Let's see if it works. Zero and zero apply. Okay. Okay. Oh, alright. So this is what we have, and this is what we see common. Um, there is a p tag in here that's undefined. Now, by default, a p tag has a margin and whatnot, and that's going to cause your divs to separate. So that's why you have different lines in here. Uh, so what you got to do is create a definition for your p or your paragraph. Zero and zero apply. So that gets rid of all that. And then I always put some bottom padding in just for the time being 15. Okay. So now let's put in some just space line here, make sure everything lines up right. It's starting to look good. I'll save all. Let's go ahead and just get rid of the text that it automatically put in, just so we can preview it, make sure it all looks good. I'll save. Up, look down, we'll go ahead and preview it real quick and explore. And we have our basic layout that we're going to be using. You'll see that the design always stays in the middle because of the wrapper tag, and it's kind of seamless. Uh, and the next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the this paper level here. And I'm going to start putting in the navigation. And that should probably be enough right there. And then we'll start getting into the details of putting on the logo uh, as a transparent layer, putting in the uh, intro text as a transparent layer, uh, putting on the slider information. Um, <clears throat> that'll just be technically there just for uh, comp purposes because later on in Joomla I'll actually put it in there with the component um, slide news defining the styles for that and content picks defining the styles for that and once we have all that built back out then it goes into the little HTML details but I believe that's probably enough for this video so thank you all right Thank you for watching this tutorial. We'll have a full series of tutorials on this particular design going all the way from the uh, initial comp, which you can see on our blog now, to um, all the way to the um, final output in Joomla, uh, discovering every point along the way and how to do everything. So um, thanks a lot. If you ever want to find us on the web, yeah, pull up our website. And um, here's my blog. This is a uh, custom web design. Who needs it anyway? Uh, but uh, just uh, look around and um, tell me what you think. Thanks. See you guys.